Aloha, hardworking students. Mr. Mitch here. Let's take a look at some of these IXLs on trigonometry, the R's. So this first one we have right here, R point. I don't know why they don't have it numbered or anything like that. That's kind of crazy. But this is the best one to start with. So let's go in here and take a look at this. So don't forget we're using our sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is the adjacent leg over the hypotenuse. And tangent is the opposite leg over the adjacent leg, our soka toa. And uh, that's the basic rule we leave here. So we've got to look at a few of these things. Let's get the pencil out. We're doing angle I, so I'm looking at this angle down here. And we have sine. Okay, this is sine right there. So sine of some angle equals the opposite leg over the hypotenuse. And we just use that. We're fine. You know, sometimes this is unknown. Sometimes this is unknown. Sometimes this is unknown. Just got to get them in the right place. Okay, so we got I. So on I over here. I need the opposite leg, so opposite is across from that, so that's going to be 24, so that's my opposite leg, and on uh, the hypotenuse is across from the right angle, so I'm looking that way, that's my hypotenuse, nice writing, hypotenuse, okay, so I'm going to have sine of angle I, equals 24 over 26 but bad news kids if you put this in you'll get it wrong they want you to reduce this so they want you to divide by 2 divide by 2 recognize that that's even and that's going to give you 12 over 13 so I'll show getting it wrong here I'll put this in put that in Got to get my keyboard out here. I can cheat a little bit. I forgot. Uh, let me plug this in. You can't see me plugging my my keyboard in there. Uh, what do we got? 24. And then go down here. 26. You can use arrow keys to move around. And it's going to say that, that this is wrong. And then they're going to come back and say that the 12 over 13 is the correct one. They do expect you to simplify it. So, again, it says simplify right there. So you need to make sure you simplify that. We submit it. It's incorrect because we didn't simplify. So you can see they got the 24 over 26. They just reduced it. Divided by 2 got the 12 over 13. I also want to mention that you're going to notice a lot of these numbers come back to our Pythagorean triples 3 4 5 5 12 13 7 24 25 8 15 17 there's a whole bunch more uh, but these are the ones that get used a lot and you can see oh there's our 12 and 13 from our 5 and that 10 would match it too because it's just those numbers that they have are there just 2 times 5, 12, 13. You get the 10, 24, 26. So let's go back in here. Got it. Let's try another one. The sign of I. Is my pen still on? Yes, it is. So there's angle I up there. This is going to be my opposite. That's my hypotenuse, again, across from the right angle, across from angle I. So I got sine of I equals 30 over 34. Again, I can reduce that. Those are both even. I divide by 2. I divide by 2. I get 15 over 17, and again, notice there's those numbers that I said are going to keep coming up. Those can help you out quite a bit if you know them. So let's put that in 15, whoops, I don't 
have all the keyboard up here. Erase that. Shoot. This isn't what I want to be happening on my memory here. Get rid of that. Up there. 15. There we go. 17. Submit it and it recognizes my awesomeness. And all these end up working pretty much the same way. So we got cosine. I want a different color. Let's get green. There's, there's our cosine right there. Adjacent leg over hypotenuse. So I want the cosine of angle E. So there's angle E. That makes this my adjacent leg. This my hypotenuse. So I'm going to have 24 over 74. I should say that's cosine of E equals... 24 over 74. I can't remember what I said before. Uh, those are both even. I can divide them by 2. That's going to go to 12 over 37. That's another Pythagorean triple that I see come up in this book a lot. Or in IXL a lot. 12 over 37. I can't reduce that. 3, 4, and 12 go into, into 12. Uh, 3 doesn't go into 37, 4 doesn't go into 37, 12 doesn't go into 37. So I'm just going to put that in here, in here. Then we've got 12 divided by 37. And we're wonderful. So we're going to skip up a level here. Notice 3, 4, 5. There's one of our triples again. Right there, 3, 4, 5. I think we can move this a little bit like that. Not going to hurt anything. There's one of our triples again, three, four, five. But let's jump up a level. Ah, so on this one, they want the sine of angle W. So sine of any angle equals the opposite leg over the hypotenuse. Well, I look at my problem. We got sine of W, so there's W. That makes this opposite, this adjacent, which I don't need, and this the hypotenuse. But, oh, shoot, I don't know the hypotenuse on there. Well, there's two ways you can get this. If you remember your triples, 3, 4, 5. That's going to be 5. Okay, five's the longest one. It's got to be on the hypotenuse. That goes on the hypotenuse. Or you can do it the long way. Uh, C squared equals A squared plus B squared. Remember that's hypotenuse squared equals leg squared plus leg squared. So that's going to be WY squared equals 3 squared plus 4 squared. That's 9 plus 16. WY squared equals 25. I would square root each of those. Square root of WY squared is just WY. And that's going to equal 5. Take your pick. You can do that work. Or you can recognize that over there. Now, I need the sign, as I mentioned before, opposite. That's going to be 4 over 5. Uh, I don't think it's going to take that. Shoot. I always forget what I'm doing here. Got to click on this. 4, 5, submit, and you got it. Let's take a couple, look at a couple more. Angle T. 
uh, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So I need cosine of some angle is adjacent over hypotenuse, I'm thinking. So again, this will be my adjacent leg there. That would have 45 would have been the opposite, which I don't need. And then 53 is my hypotenuse. So I don't know the adjacent leg TS again. So again, I'm going to use my, I don't see this as a multiple as one of my triples. I see nothing going to 53. Nothing really going to the 45 either. The 15, I could get to the 45 times 3, but 17 times 3 isn't going to work for 53. Uh, okay, so again, 53, you know, C squared equals A squared plus B squared. C is that hypotenuse. 53 squared equals 45 squared plus TS squared. So I need to change that a little bit there, clear that. Let's do 53 squared. I get 2809. 45 squared. 2025 plus TS squared. Subtract that. 2025. So that's going to be clear to 809 minus 2025. And I get 784 equals TS squared. Should make that a little bigger, sorry. Square root, square root equals TS. So let's do, I got to clear that. Square root seven eight four twenty eight, and these usually come out to integers in IXL. They don't usually come out to integers, but IXL makes them. So that side equals twenty eight, and now for my cosine of angle T, I have twenty eight over fifty three. I do believe that thing be reduced. 53 is prime, I'm pretty sure. So let's get 28. 53. And we got it. Wish I could regenerate this question. That's just doing a little bit more of the same thing. I do want to do a tangent, but I'm not liking these questions. Uh, what I wanted to show you is you can multiply these to get other ones. Times 5 would give me 25. 60, 65. So you can see multiples of these in there. Just got to be good with your arithmetic to catch those. This next level, doing the same thing. You're just getting all three of them at the same time. So you'd have to get this side because you're going to need the hypotenuse for sine and cosine. This video is getting on the long side already, so I'm going to call it to an end. You got to this point, you should be able to figure these out. Just have to get more right at the same time here. That's really it. Okay, have a good one. Thanks for hanging in there. Appreciate your work, and have a good day.